You do not want to make a mistake choosing which Magic Kingdom Disney Resort to stay at on your next adults only or seniors vacation at Walt Disney World. The wrong choice could ruin your vacation. We've been there. The first three parts of this video series has helped you so far. Now for the conclusion. Welcome to part four of our four part series comparing for adults and seniors the four Magic Kingdom Disney Resorts. I'm Dan from Nancy and Dan Travel. We are annual pass holders and ourselves older adults and seniors. We go on adults only vacations to Walt Disney World many times a year and have personally stayed at each of these four Magic Kingdom Disney Resorts. So we talk from experience. We found that older adults and seniors like ourselves typically want this collection of resort amenities from their accommodations when on a Disney World vacation. Everything from top quality of the resort and the guest rooms, a relaxing atmosphere with tranquil surroundings and more. It's different from what most young families want when on vacation with their children. We know by and large that at each of the Magic Kingdom Disney Resorts, which is the focus of this series, we can find all of these elements from great cast member staffing, top quality buildings and guest rooms, ease of check-in and check-out, and a view of the lake, all things important to us older adults. As well, each Magic Kingdom Disney Resort also have this collection of resort amenities you see listed here. Everything from concierge and club guest rooms if we wish, a variety of restaurants, swimming pools, and attractions at night such as the electric water pageant and views of the fireworks from Magic Kingdom. So how do you decide if you want to stay close to Magic Kingdom, which of these four Disney resorts to stay at on your adults only and seniors vacation at Walt Disney World? Shortly, we will present to you the overall combined scorecard from the first three parts of this series, as well as numerous other considerations to take into account. If you've not already done so, we do strongly recommend that you first watch each of the parts one, two, and three videos in this series, then return to this concluding part four. For those who have, let's quickly relook at the summary scorecard from part one, where we compared the objective facts between each of the four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts, things that you can't really debate. As we walk through this area of Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, you can see each of the four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts listed at the top of the chart with each objective or fact-based comparison measure on the left. We compare the number of guest rooms at each resort. The more guest rooms, the busier the resort will be for its guests. The number of guest buildings, the fewer the better, for mobility within the resort is also important. How busy the resort's swimming pools will be is another factor important to us older adults, as well as the number of guest rooms for each leisure or quiet pool was also important. Two different aspects to the restaurants at each resort was also compared, as you see in part one. And the ease that non-resort guests have for them to be able to access each of these four Magic Kingdom resorts was also compared, as this relates directly to how crowded each resort will be compared to each other for those staying there. The results then from our part one comparison of objective or fact-based aspects between each of these four Disney resorts were as follows. Remember, a green rectangle means that the Disney resort scored higher or better than the others with that particular objective measure, while a red triangle indicates it scored lower or more poorly with the same measure. A white triangle simply means that the resort was not significantly better or worse than the others. Overall, on the left, we see that Disney's Contemporary Resort and Disney's Vacation Club's Bay Lake Tower scored the best for these fact-based comparisons, with four green rectangles and only one re rectangle. A close second, perhaps surprisingly, Disney's Wilderness Lodge, combined with Disney Vacation Club's Copper Creek and Boulder Ridge Villas, had three green rectangles and only one red rectangle. Remember to stay to the end for the combined comparison scorecards from parts 1, 2, and 3, as well as additional factors which are important to most adults and seniors vacationing at these four Magic Kingdom resorts and Walt Disney World. In part 2 of this four-part series, we took a hard, a very hard look at the cost to stay at each of these four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts. Most reviews stay away, far away from comparing in detail the costs of these Disney World accommodations. But it is very important to older adults and seniors, so we dug deep for you, so you will know what you are facing if the cost of your accommodations is important to you, as it is to most of us. Especially for those who are retired, we really need to watch our spending. We don't like wasting our money or our time. 
So the cost of our vacation, whether a cruise, a vacation over to Hawaii or Europe or to Disney World, is usually very important to us. Part two was all about the cost to stay at each of these four Disney resorts. We used Disney Vacation Club points and then converted them to dollars. It was, in our opinion, the best way to be consistent in our comparison between the four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts since a portion of their guest rooms are part of the Disney Vacation Club. As you can see here, we compared the cost of staying in a room with a standard view to one that had the best view at each resort. Sometimes these best views offered from your balcony a view of the Magic Kingdom fireworks. We compared the cost to stay in a studio room to that of a one bedroom unit, again, for each of these four Disney resorts. We also compared the cost to stay during a relatively slow demand time at Walt Disney World, that being in the month of September, to a cost to stay at one of the busiest times of the year, Christmas Eve. As you can tell, part two was, we think, a very comprehensive cost comparison that, quite frankly, you'll be hard pressed to find elsewhere. This time, as we walk through the grounds of Disney's Wilderness Lodge, let's quickly familiarize ourselves with a cost comparison scorecard from part two, then look at the results. Again, you can see, just like in part one, each of the four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts are at the top, with each of the different cost comparisons on the left. At the top of this cost comparison, in the summer of 2024, the two NAs on the chart for Polly indicate there are no one-bedroom DVC units available for guests. We also included as a cost, a relative cost, to stay for one night at each of these four Magic Kingdom Disney Resorts in their concierge or club-level rooms, using just the lowest cost for each, as there are many, many different varieties of concierge club-level rooms at each resort. Here then were the results from the detailed cost comparison between the four Magic Kingdom Disney Resorts from Part 2. At the summary level, clearly Disney's Wilderness Lodge Resort, Copper Creek, and Boulder Ridge Villas is the clear, clear winner with all green rectangles, meaning this resort has the most economical cost to stay amongst all of the different types of accommodations we compared with the other three Magic Kingdom Disney Resorts. While Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa was the most expensive resort to stay for all of the comparisons we made. This is not too surprising with this very upscale theming, yet we were surprised nonetheless. If this video is helping you with your decision at which of the four Magic Kingdom Disney Resorts to stay at for your next vacation at Walt Disney World, please consider subscribing to our channel with the notification bell to watch future of our travel vacation videos for adults, older adults, and seniors, including those at Walt Disney World, Disneyland, and on Disney Cruises. One more summary scorecard to go before we have the big reveal. Part three of our series compared different subjective attributes at each of these four Disney Deluxe resorts, attributes of a resort that contribute to what older adults and seniors typically want when staying at any resort while on an adults only or seniors vacation. As we walk this time through the grounds of Disney's Contemporary Resort and Bay Lake Tower, let's quickly look at the part three scorecard and then jump right into the results. The same four resorts across the top. The subject of metrics we chose include how crowded each resort tends to be with non-resort guests, the number of areas to relax within each resort, inside as well as outside the resort buildings, how the indoor scenery and decor of each resort enhance the tranquil, relaxing nature of a guest stay, as well as that of the outdoor scenery. With older adults and seniors tending to spend less time at the Disney World theme parks and more time relaxing at their resort of choice, all four of these subjective factors we feel are very important. Now, what were the results? As we see here, once again, Disney's Wilderness Lodge, Copper Creek, and Boulder Ridge Villas was the leading resort amongst all four of Disney's Magic Kingdom resorts across all four of these subjective metrics. Older adults and seniors are assured to most always have a relaxing, tranquil, peaceful stay here, just as Nancy and I always do at different times of the year. Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, along with Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, also scored high marks for its indoor and outdoor theming and decor for older adults and seniors. So, between these four Magic Kingdom Disney Resorts, which scored consistently the highest among all different types of comparisons we make? This combined scorecard, once again, has each of the four Disney Resorts across the top. With over on the left is the summary row for each of the three scorecards from part one, objective or fact-based measures, 
Part two, cost. And part three, subjective measures. Disney's Contemporary Resort and Bay Lake Tower had across all three types of comparison, six green or superior rankings, with only two red or poor comparisons, with its strength being in the objective measure comparisons. Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa had four green or superior comparisons and nine red or poor comparisons, with its weakness being the objective measures and the cost for its guest rooms compared to the other three Magic Kingdom resorts. Disney's Polynesian Village Resort came in with two green or superior comparisons and three red or poor comparisons with the other three Magic Kingdom Disney resorts, with its strength being from the subjective measures and its relatively poor comparison for some of the objective measures. And if you've been following closely, you know by now that the best performing Magic Kingdom Disney Resort across all of our comparisons is Disney's Wilderness Lodge, Copper Creek, and Boulder Ridge Villas, with 13 green or superior comparisons, and only one red or inferior comparisons for older adults and seniors amongst all four of these Disney Magic Kingdom Resorts, receiving top marks in each of the objective comparisons, cost comparisons, and subjective comparisons we did. If you are not familiar as you'd like to be with any of these four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts, you can find our detailed review for each resort from an older adult and seniors perspective here in our Best Disney Resorts for Adults and Seniors playlist. So, are we done with our comparison of the Magic Kingdom Disney resorts for older adults and seniors? Is there anything more to say? Is it time to leave this video or go make our own or contact our travel agent to make on our behalf? Our next reservations at one of these Magic Kingdom Disney Resorts? No, it's not. Don't leave yet for another video, even for one of ours. Here are some more considerations that we mentioned we would provide to you from an older adult and senior's perspective, which might influence your decision at which of these four Magic Kingdom Disney Resorts you choose to stay at for your next adults only or seniors vacation at Walt Disney World. These are really subjective and everyone will have their own opinion on which of these is relevant, and which are not to influence your decision. First up, quickly now, is how long you plan to stay at these resorts. If you're staying just for one or two nights, then the drawback from our detailed comparisons won't matter that much. But if a stay of several days, a week, or longer, then you may start to feel at some point the disadvantages from an older adult or senior's perspective at the resort you choose. Next, which theme park you plan to visit the most during your stay can influence your decision. Each resort has its different collection of Disney transportation options depending on which theme park you plan to visit. Resort theming preference. For some, the heck with the cost and the crowded swimming pools, they like what they like and they want to always be surrounded by whichever theming of these four Disney resorts makes them feel the most relaxed and has the most enjoyment time for them at the resort. Related to theming, Holiday Time has special theming at each of these four Magic Kingdom Disney Resorts. Perhaps you want to see the oversized gingerbread house in the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa Lobby every day on your way to or from a different area of Walt Disney World. Another aspect impacting your choice between these four Magic Kingdom Disney Resorts is the amount of time you plan to spend at the resort during your adults only or seniors vacation. If you continue to spend most of your time in the Disney theme parks, water parks, and Disney Springs, then staying at a typically crowded resort won't matter much to you because you won't be there that much. Perhaps crowds at the resort you plan to stay at won't bother you that much, especially if you've found different hideaways and relaxing areas at the resort you plan to stay at on your next Walt Disney World vacation. Then issues of crowds of non-resort guests will not matter much to you in your decision. If it has been a while since you last stayed at one of these four Magic Kingdom Disney Resorts and you had a great time on your last stay there, then perhaps you'll likely be more inclined to stay there on your next visit regardless of its drawbacks because the positive aspects of a stay there means more to you now since it's been a while. Perhaps you really want to have several meals at your favorite restaurant at one of these resorts. Geyser Point Bar and Grill at Disney's Wilderness Lodge with its views of the lake is one such restaurant for Nancy and I. Not all guest rooms are configured the same between these four Disney resorts. Perhaps you really like the two separate beds in the resort studios at Disney Vacation Club, the Big Pine Key Building within Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Or perhaps the unique layout of the one bedrooms on the fifth floor as seen here 
at Disney's Boulder Ridge Villas where Nancy and I stayed during Thanksgiving week last year are your cup of tea. On the other hand, perhaps you really, really want to see the fireworks at Magic Kingdom from your room most nights, as seen here from the studio where Nancy and I stayed at on vacation at Bay Lake Tower. If you do, then this desire and preference of yours will greatly influence where you choose to stay amongst these four Disney Deluxe Resorts. Perhaps you really, really, really like to use the Disney monorail as much as you can. In that case, you will likely not stay much at Disney's Wilderness Lodge, which does not have its own monorail station at the resort. This list is almost endless, the combination of preferences we older adults and seniors can have that can influence our decision on which of these four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts we will call home for our next adults only or seniors vacation. Our final thoughts for you. We hope our comparison from an older adult and seniors perspective has helped you. We really do. To confirm if the Disney resort you think is the best choice for you after going to all four of our Magic Kingdom Disney resort comparison for older adults and seniors, and that right now before you leave our at Nancy and Dan travel channel, you click on the best Disney resorts for adults and seniors playlist shown here on the right. In this playlist, we review again if the Disney resort is a good choice for a long and short term stay. So do that right now while you're thinking about it and share this video with your friends and neighbors to help them make the right choice for themselves. Thanks again for subscribing to our channel and giving this video a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.